Actually, if you want to just stand here and we'll see. Here. You're gonna get up before the sun comes up, Cadet. That's when you're getting up. Noonish. You guys believe me a little while before she gets back to the house. Now there's one more. Yeah, put it in. Oh, my stick's going. Somebody's gonna run out of water. It always happens. So when you're building a temporary shelter, there's some things to keep in mind. Number one, you want to keep warm. Number two, you want to stay out of the rain. The elements. You know, what's what's gonna happen if you wake up and it's keep snowing? Especially in a survival situation. Outstanding, let's go. Over. 
Uh, you don't have to have special socks, but uh, it helps. And watch your step as well if you're always on, your step, on a decline. Watch your step! Step! Don't touch it. There you go. Yeah. Don't touch it. One, two, three, hands together. One, two, three. Oh. That works. <laughs> Is that working? Okay, basically what we're gonna do now, you have all completed building your shelters. We're going to go around and look at them all. See what you uh, see what <laughs> So let's go, Alpha, where's yours? So what do you think your experience here? Uh, it was pretty fun. <laughs> What'd you, what was the most fun? Hiking. So probably the most fun, uh, sitting around the campfire and uh, uh, telling stories and joking around. Uh, that was probably that was pretty fun. The hike, definitely. What'd you learn? How to build a shelter. All the wood. We got. So what's the best part of this weekend so far? They're all gone. The best part of the weekend. The best part of the weekend is that everybody's had a chance to experience cold weather. Everyone's learning that they can survive anywhere, anytime, under any conditions. They're building the self-confidence and the ability to survive in any condition, under any circumstances. Pretty good. Were you cold? Not really, but my airbag kind of just deflated. So. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. So what did so you learn? What's the most important thing you learned this weekend so far? Probably teamwork um, and respect. So what did you get out of this weekend so far? Um, how to make a shelter. Were you cold yesterday, last night? Just my toes. Okay, that's good. Yep. What's the biggest thing you learned this weekend? Biggest thing I learned this weekend is how to work more as a team when you're like, stop looking at me. When uh, you're doing search and rescue for the National Fire Service, like you need to have people like organized before you go out. So what was the best part of this weekend so far? Probably the hike that was like eight miles long. 80 miles? No, eight miles! <laughs> yeah, like eight miles long. So what'd you learn? Well, I learned how to use the radio properly, because I've never done that before. It was pretty cool. Would you do this again? Yes, definitely. It was a good experience to come here. What'd you, uh, what'd you learn? Respect the moose. Respect the moose. Yeah, respect the moose. Major moose. Major moose. Oh, what, what, did, what did you learn? I learned how to make a tent. I learned how to call in coordinates to the Forest Service and I got practice talking on the radio. Did you have fun this weekend? Yeah. Were you cold? No. So what did you learn? Everything. <laughs> well, we met our quota for the day then. 
That's a pretty decent track record. That match in the fire with Gavin is very dangerous. Usually more than two cadets are lost. Oh, wait, wait. See what that is. See what that is. Oh, almost. He's an actual manly man. Look at light. Oh my gosh. You're failing. You and your companions have just survived a crash of a small plane. Both the pilot and co-pilot were killed in the crash. It's mid-January. You're in northern Canada. The daily temperature is 25 below zero. The nighttime temperature is 40 below zero. There's snow on the ground and the countryside is wooded. With several, your group of survivors managed to salvage the following items. A ball of steel wool, right, one quart of 100 proof whiskey. Lower right. freezing point. The, the, idea, the idea for this is to categorize this in what we need and what is most valuable to us. So remember your survival priorities today. Right. Right. You can help us out. Okay. You could like take the Crisco out of the camp and use that to boil the water. Regardless of how many bullets it holds, you fire three shots for uh, distress. Number six was a quart of whiskey. Number seven was a compass. Number, number ten, the family size tropical whiskey. And number eleven, a small axe. And I'll give you some ideas of like, what would we use steel wool for? Frisco can, what's that for? Uh, how quickly do I need to build a shelter? It's nice to have a fire. But if you're out here, you know. But this is just for kind of living comfortably, uh, living off the land stuff. Uh, so obviously, if you don't want to, uh, Hunt and trap and gather. Uh, a slingshot's kind of nice for uh, like shooting rabbits or you know finding food and making pressure dressing. You're just gonna cram as much perlex in as you can. But you gotta start putting socks in there. You gotta do whatever you gotta do to stop the bleeding. So that's what you're doing. This all these slush can keep you off the snow. Uh, not just, just like I said, using one of these in a snow break. There's no problem. Okay, the carrier tone and then the um the sweep tone. The carrier tone. Here, got a beacon on it. Yeah. So if you're doing receive, then you want to have, you know, you want to be looking down. Everything's gonna reflect a little bit. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting a little higher. Four of us. Is that a dead body? It's four. Four dead bodies. Catching the black over here. They're like on and on. Well, first of all, I want to congratulate everyone for surviving this weekend. Is there anybody here who didn't live? <laughs> so, who was called the first night? Keep your hands up. Now, who was called the second night? All right, so we only had a couple people left over. You don't count, because you're always called. We call that learning. You learned a lot here this weekend. A lot from your own experience. And from that experience, you were able to be warmer on the second night. And every single person in this bivouac did exactly that. You took the measures that you needed to take to be safe, you were safe, you learned a lot, and from it you became better CAP members and better people all around. Let's give each other a round of applause. When you, go home, when you, you survived in the wilderness in the middle of winter. You learn skills that you can use when you patrol the national forest 
with the U.S. Forest Service. And you are all welcome in any bivouac we have in the future. Where do you see the next one if you think this one was rough? Now, we have some people that we need to thank. Number one, we had an incident-free weekend because we had a fantastic safety officer, not only in each one of you, but our safety officer, Lieutenant Vita. Let's give him a round of applause. Let's give the mess staff a big round of applause. We had the best possible training officer we could have, believe me, in the entire world. Lieutenant let's give him a round of applause. All right. <laughs> Captain Benner, what was the best part of the weekend? Hang on, I gotta take the buses for a second. Ha 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 